rounds through the uh, Saint Edge. I uh, was having some problems with some uh, uh, inexpensive 223 ammo and uh, wanted to put some uh, 556 through it just to see how she's running and uh, have a little bit of fun. Uh, so we'll see where we're at. Five, five, six. Let's go see what we got down range. Get my tape. Yeah, I was having some stuck cases. With the cheaper 223 ammo, factory ammo, but still cheaper, and uh, was kind of starting to worry that I was having some over gas problems or something else, but uh, not having any problems here. So there's the two, three, four, five, six, and a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Yep. Just was a forgiven. 
a little low. Alright, quick adjustments made. Let's see what we're getting now. Definitely running 100% with the uh, 5.56 ammo, which is a good thing. Where did those clicks take me? Wow, those clicks took me right where I want to be. Awkward shooting position, but let's see how she shoots out here. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. All right, let's have a little bit of fun here. charm again let's go see what we got Five, 
two, three, four, five. So two and one. Huh. And a headshot. One, two, three, four, five. And a headshot. Shut a little low that one. One, two, three, four, five. Two headshots. And one, two, three, four, five. Two headshots. All shots on target. There's 200, yeah, 200 plus, 250 rounds of 556 through the St. Edge, not a single problem, gun ran 100% and accuracy is exceptional. I know it's only 25 yards, but there's my first group. Five rounds down here. One, two, three, four, five. And one in the head. Second group. One, two, three, four, five. One in the head. One, two, three, four, five, six. One in the head. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One in the head. Shot of that. That's that's what the edge can do if you're going slow. Right, folks, because I am a glutton for punishment, I'm going to run the inexpensive ammo that I had some trouble with through the rifle, and I'll see if I can recreate those problems. in a different place. Not a problem. This is 223 ammo. It's factory ammo, but it's cheap. And I just ran 30 rounds through the gun. And the accuracy is still pretty good. There went the first one. We know it's definitely an ammo problem. I did have the same issue in my other ARs, um, but it didn't happen as often as it has in this one. So I thought maybe, maybe it was something else.
Hey folks, uh, I'm going to give my uh, St. Edge a clean cleaning and I uh, just wanted to walk you through a couple of the things about this rifle that I really like. First of all, it's real, real light. Um, I think they say just under six pounds. Uh, I went ahead and added this uh, grip on the front because that's how I like to hold it. Um, it does have a pencil, pencil thin barrel, which, you know, I've not been a huge fan of, but I have uh, you know some heavy barrel stuff, so I'm good there uh, Love this compensator uh, Really helps even though the 5.56 six round isn't much for recoil anyway free floating barrel um, It's got some interesting uh, Cuts in the uh, lower nice grip uh, It's got storage. This is integrated uh, But it's uh, got plenty of room for glove um, You know nice stock comes with uh, iron sights back up and they are iron um, excellent rifle uh, great charging handle um, just some really good uh, good stuff that comes with has a couple of QD points um, I went ahead and put this on just because I like to I like to run a uh, you know, regular sling um, not not so much the single point unless I have to and uh, but anyway uh, excellent rifle I'm gonna take it apart show you some things one of the things that uh, sold me on this rifle you know alongside with all the features that it comes with and the the fact that it's light and, and it's cut for light uh, you know it's got some cuts on it for to make it lighter it's got some components to make it lighter it's a, generally it's a great light rifle with great accuracy um, is this trigger the trigger is outstanding for a uh, for a factory trigger um, you know it's got the uh, anti-rotation pins already in it it's got the ambi safety not that i need that but if you're switching back and forth in terms of uh right hand left hand uh shooting uh it's a great plus but uh you know just uh just incredible trigger and i'm gonna i'm gonna do some trigger uh some trigger weights for you so you can see what i'm talking about two point seven eight Two point two six. I think that first one was a bit of a fluke. Let's get another one. Two point seven six. They're all kind of in the same spot there. Two point five four. Let's get a couple more and average that out. Two point six six and one more. Two point six seven. So an average of two and a half, two point five one pounds. And again, uh, I'm not. Uh, I mean, I've, I've put a few rounds through this. Um, not 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 a ton of rounds, but uh, um, I've put enough through it that. Uh, that the firearm is you know has been well fired so um you know it's but the trigger is incredible i mean you can see that you know this is the 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 trigger pull you can see that travel that's it i mean Incredible. Come stock. So <clears throat> I'm going to take it apart, clean it, show you some of the other components. But uh, right there, that trigger is incredible. So anyway, just wanted to show you. And I'm going to show you that trigger. That is the uh, entire trigger component right there. It's mil, mil spec looking, as you can see. Um, Incredible trigger. Got a little dirty. Um, I did put quite a few rounds through it yesterday. I want to say it was in the 250 range plus. Um, and got a little dirty. 
as to be expected. So, this is the uh, bolt carrier group, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, looking great. It's had, I, mean, I want to say the rifle has had uh, easily uh, 500 to 1,000 rounds through it, probably probably pushing on a thousand um, which is uh, pretty good pretty good amount for a rifle these days uh, a lot of guys buy them and don't shoot them much but uh, anyhow um, just gonna go ahead and take this one apart so you can see how uh, how the rifle looks how the components look after we shot it and uh, Again, I apologize that you can't see everything I'm doing here. I'm trying to do it as, as much as I can in the open here so you can see it better. But the camera's not uh, it's mounted on my hat. So here's the uh, bolt. And uh, you can see it's dirty. Typical bolt. And uh, dirty like normal. And you can see my hands are dirty. Um... I'm going to go ahead and clean it, but I wanted to give you give you a view of uh, some of the parts here. Another piece they talk about a lot is uh, this, uh, and I can't remember what they call it off the top of my head, but they have this tension, uh, and there's a, a way to, uh, to, to make sure that the fit between the lower and the upper is tight. This one is tight, tight. So, wanted to just show you some of the components, you know, ambi safety, um, you can see. Uh, anti-walk pins uh, factory incredible trigger uh, we kind of went over that um, just a great trigger um, heavy buffer uh, nice stock um, I believe these are uh, BMC I'm trying to remember who makes these parts uh, anyway uh, but great stuff uh, the lower is awesome proprietary setup uh, like I showed you great trigger upper is outstanding um, full rail um, you know think it's you know high quality rifle um, of course I'm not a rifle expert I've been doing more handgun than rifle my my life but uh, but love this uh, love this rifle extremely light and anyway hope the uh, hope this has been helpful for you